Good morning, everyone. My name is Tong Huang. I'm from the Microsoft Social Nui Center for, um, um, at the University of Melbourne. So today I'm presenting the work on behalf of my co-authors, um, Martin Reynoso, Zahir Zucada, um, Frank Viteri, and David Kelly, uh, on the design of the system that we call Mentor Studio. So I put a, a 10 second uh, teaser here, which hopefully will give you an idea of what the presentation is about. So at the problem domain of our research is in anatomy education, which is the core basis for most health science domain. Learning anatomy is not um, just about knowing where the muscles and bones and body organs are, but more about the understanding of the dynamics of the internal workings of the muscles of the body. And especially the case for physiotherapy students where they, their future clinical practice involved directly with body movements. Students do understand in two dimensions how muscle and joint work, but three dimensional analysis is challenging for them. So in other words, physiotherapy students often struggle to translate the anatomical knowledge from textbook to dynamic understanding of the mechanics of body movements in real life patients. So current teaching method regarding this particular problem include using a skeleton mannequin, um, such as the one I was showing earlier, and body painting. Body painting, however, is a very time-consuming process. Um, the photos shown here in the slide and the one previous took about 17 hours to complete by a large team of artists and health science students. In addition, body painting does not allow for easy modification and annotation, which is a very common practice in physiotherapy teaching. So the reality is uh, teachers often re resorts to using skeleton mannequin, um, which is an inanimate object, to illustrate a dynamic movement concepts. So our understanding of the problem domain um, is derived from the few study that we conducted at the Department of Physiotherapy in our university to answer the question of how we can use emerging technologies to enhance physiotherapy teaching and learning. So we observed six practical classes as shown in these photos here over the first semester of the first year of physiotherapy uh, doctor, doctor program. Our method is observation in informal chat. So based on our study, we derived two design guidelines for emerging technologies to help with physiotherapy education, namely augmentation and annotation. Augmentation is the capability of technologies such as augmented reality or virtual reality to provide dynamic anatomical references to the students which they constantly refer to in the class as we observe. And annotation, which is a digital form of a body painting because we do observe that simple body painting like this is very commonly used in class. So a literature survey found similar research work um, and that on me by me and college is designed to improve doctor and patient communications in a clinical settings. Using a handheld projector, the doctor can position virtual anatom anatomical information on the corresponding part of the patient's body to educate the patients on the concept relevant to their consultation. Also another work by Johnson and Son used a single projector and a Kinect sensor to project organs on the body to play in a game where the players score points by identifying body organs. So these work provide a, a strong basis for us to design our augmented studio system which is used in a large uh, scale health education settings. Uh, and this is the augmented studio. So we call it studio to emphasize one of the most important design outcome of our few studies, the scales of space. First and foremost, the system needs to support a classroom size. So the time-lapse video here shows how we set up the system in a physiotherapy practical classroom at, our de at the Department of Physiotherapy. The infrastructure of the system is made of four tripods connected with four cross beams to create a, a tracking volume about three by three by three meters, and we call it the stage. So on the beams, we mount two um, connect sensors and two projectors aligned um, in pairs, pointing towards uh, the projection screens and the floor in white as shown there. So we use the Microsoft Room Alive Toolkit uh, to enable projection mapping in the entire volume of the stage using the projector and the connect sensor combo. So the toolkit used structural light to capture the topography of the area and calculate the positions and intrinsic parameters of the projectors. And by importing the result into the Unity game engine, we create a mapping that allows um, virtual model to be projected to any surfaces in the stage volume, which include moving human body tracked by Kinect sensors. 
What's shown here is a virtual anatomical model that we purchased on the model uh, store and verified with field experts to ensure that they're suitable for anatomical teaching and learning. So to create the annotation system, well, at first we, we tried the approach of performing collision detecting, detection using ray casting to paint directly onto the texture of the model. However, due to the complexity of the model uh, that we purchased, the system could not run in real time. So to overcome that challenge, we basically created a method called annotation sleeve, which wraps transparent simple polyhedrons around the body segments of the model. Um, so the ray casting will hit the simple model instead, would increase the performance of the system to satisfy for the real time requirement. So we conducted a pilot usability study to evaluate the Augmented Studio, especially the annotation feature, which is, as compared to previous work, is an original design feature. Uh, so we recruited uh, graduate physiotherapy students to participate in a manual therapy class, uh, in addition to the content that was not part of their curriculum um, using Augmented Studio. So each class runs about for 15 minutes, uh, taught by lecturers from the physiotherapy department. We, we ran about three classes all together back to back. The data collection method is through observation uh, during class and after the class, the student completed a questionnaire that was developed from the information system success uh, model, uh, looking at the overall aspect, user experience, user intentions, a system and content quality. Um, we also conducted a group discussion at the end um, to discuss the students and teachers' um, preference, performance and limitations of the system. So the, the full table is in, um, is in the paper. So we ran descriptive stats on the questionnaire data. No formal um, stat analysis will performed due to the nature of the pilot study. Uh, and it can be seen that Augmented Studio received a, a very positive response uh, on the majority of factors. We perform a five-point five Likert scale. Well, among the one of the highest score are satisfaction, enjoyment, improvement, improvement with uh, anatomical and kinesthetology understanding, and compelling projection technologies. So we ran code analysis on the observation nodes and group discussion strands group, and we found the following themes. Students found it extremely useful being able to see dynamic movements of anatomical structures, which is one of our design goal. And as can be seen here, Tamara is pointing at the top of the sartorius muscle and jo when Joshua was bending forward while kicking. Um, and the student commented that they, they prefer Augmented Studio because it provides more relevant information with the ability to map 3D models to physical movements. So the annotation on both uh, the skeleton and muscle model um, help clarify the attachment of muscles on the body and their functions during movements. Um, the annotation that's shown here was actually performed by uh, a researcher and, and the anatomy teacher at a computer desk nearby. We didn't implement any tra hand tracking technologies just yet um, as a pilot study. So this shows how annotation is used within the context of the when, class. When Joshua puts his weight, no, just so sorry, pops his weight onto that side, we'll see glute manius contract. Is that eccentric or concentric? As you can see, they put highlight annotation to highlight which muscles uh, was used during particular movement. Uh, so one observation from the study is that the teacher encouraged the student to perform annotation during class by tracing their fingers on the volunteer body. And this type of interaction was not observed in the traditional, class, traditional classroom. The system provides a common visual language. So perhaps we can uh, get you all to highlight where the adductors are going to be. <sighs> There's a few of them here. What do these There's maybe, blue? I think that's Magnus going down there. Mm -hmm. Maybe what's next? Uh, uh, is, that, is that through there, like adductor longus as well? Yeah. And then brevis, and then um, pectineus. Okay, very good. Then, so the system provides 
a common visual language to encourage this type of interaction. And during the group discussion, both the teacher and the students observed that the annotation capability of Augmented Studio encouraged the engagement and more interaction between the teacher and the students uh, on the class contents, as the video here shows. Um, so there's a few uh, limitations that, uh, that was um, brought up during the discussion. Um, as you can see, there's, there's some tracking issue, especially with Kinect and tracking of the feet. Um, and also about anima animation accuracy as well. We work with a 3D artist to smooth out most of the anim animation of the joints, but to be truly collect correct uh, for anatomical teaching, we require a lot more work on the full skeletal animations. And also we have uh, issues with model scaling as well. So to be able to use in real life system, um, which require for, to cater for different size of the bodies with different proportions. So currently the system does not have that capability yet. And uh, we're trying to perform scaling based on, on uniform scaling and it doesn't look that great. Um, so, this was, um, so one of the comments arising from the discussions was the ability to project at the back. Um, the system is designed to do so. However, due to the setup of the classroom, we didn't manage that. So after the class, we had an opportunity to set up the system in a theater with more space, so we can do that in the front and back projections. Um, so being in theater, we invited a, a dancer to capture the 360 view of um, performing the movement with the front and back projection. Uh, so to conclude, I would like you to uh, leave with you with this um, statement. So through augmentation and annotations, Augmented Studio can enhance physiotherapy education by projecting anatomical structures and annotations over moving bodies. Thank you. Um, I have a question. So, how was the experience of the human um, model used here? <laughs> um, how did you feel, people? Yeah, uh, this is a common practice in, in class that we observe that the student, uh, the teacher, normally uh, get asked the student to volunteer to be the patients. Um, so, there are they, interesting uh, observations about what's the learning benefit of that particular student. Um, and in this particular case, we sort of accept that that is the current the kind of practice. Um, so in, in, in this case, um, we, we aim to um, have the system so that like, most of the students can actually be, become volunteer. That way we're looking at model scaling before, so that it actually can fit with any students. Um, but the, the practice in class is that um, when the, the, the teacher is demonstrating particular movements or particular assessment type, they will, he or she will invite a student to become a volunteer. So we, we built the model to, to fit in with that practice that we observe. Uh, hi. So, Elie Catan from Grenoble University. Uh, I was wondering, uh, you did some questionnaire and students seem to be happy, but I guess it could be biased by the novelty of the, the interaction. And did you think about really evaluating if students can learn faster or maybe more things by doing, I don't know, tests compared to classical courses or videos? Or Yep, um, thanks for the question, um, because this is a pilot study, usability study, so we would just like to evaluate the student first reactions on it. Um, so this is an ongoing project. We got some funding um, to deploy this um, into the teaching of the Department of Physiotherapy from our university, and we are in the process of running a, a full-scale study to, to assess the learning capability of the system. So, but yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks.